Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be doing a full face using affordable Australian makeup. Now I do these, oh my god the sun is going in and out, it's driving me mad. <laughs> Now I do testing Australian drugstore makeup videos quite often, but the difference with today's video is that these are Australian brands, not just drugstore or affordable makeup that is available here in Australia. I've got a lot of exciting brands, a lot of really good products that I use all the time and I'm so excited to share them with you. So if you enjoyed this video while you're watching, give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You know, I like to zoom in so you can just see everything. I used my Dyson Airwrap for the first time today. I actually won this. I won an Airwrap. How cool is that? And look, it's, I, I know, like it needs a bit of work. Like I like how my hair turned out, but I feel like it could be better, you know? So starting out with primer, I'm going in with the designer brands Rise and Prime Luminescent Primer. Now this leaves, oh my God, such a beautiful glow. It's like translucent. Do you see that subtle glow that it's giving? It is so beautiful and it really shines through under your foundation as well. Some glowing primers can be like too much or they've got shimmer in them, but this is just the perfect formula. It feels so lightweight on the skin and oh, I'm just obsessed with that. This is a really great primer if you're going for like a no makeup makeup look as well and you just want your skin to look like glass. Ooh. It does have a bit of a strong smell, which is kind of off-putting, but I can get past it. And then I'm also going to use a foundation by Designer Brands. This is the Luminous Hydrating Foundation. It has really great coverage, but is giving you that gorgeous glowy finish. Oh my God. So this is in the shade True Ivory. Oh, okay. I think I chose the wrong shade. This one is super, super fair. I also have Porcelain Ivory. So let me pump that and you can see the difference. Yeah. So this one is porcelain ivory. That's the shade I'm going to go in with, but look how fair that goes. Okay. So going in with porcelain ivory already, look at the coverage that gives. Like, are you kidding me? And then going to use my beauty blender and just to bounce that out. Does anyone else watch Taylor Wynn's videos? I always love when she uses a beauty blender and you can hear the sound of it like bouncing on her face. I, I don't know, that's such a weird, <laughs> such a weird thing, but I don't know, you can always hear it. If you watch her videos, you know what I mean. Otherwise I just sound crazy. <laughs> Now, even though it's a hydrating and luminous foundation, it's not extremely lightweight. So you are going to feel it a little bit on your skin when you first apply it. I do like to blend it just under my chin a bit, not all the way down my neck. Look at that glow. The foundation and the primer together. Oh, such a good combo. For concealer, I have one by the brand Mud, which is available at Woolworths. Now, I actually haven't used this concealer before. It is the Flawless Finish, and I have the shade 01 Ivory. It does look like it's going to have really good coverage, which is why I want to try it out, because some of the other concealers that I have from Australian brands just don't really give me the coverage that I'm after. I don't like a lightweight concealer. I like a light coverage, lightweight foundation, but I still like my concealer to be full coverage. So let's see how this goes. It looks good. Like it looks like it's gonna have really nice coverage. Okay, I'm liking it so far. It looks quite hydrating under the eyes. Very, very good coverage. Oh, this could be a winner. By the way, this is the only thing that I'm using that I haven't tried before. Everything else is like used and abused. Okay, what the hell? I am so impressed with that. It's kind of reminding me of the e.l.f. hydrating concealer, but with more coverage. I love that look under the eyes. Oh my God. <sighs> Okay, now I'm not going to go in with powder just yet because I want to use some cream products on the cheeks. I'm going to go in with the Ulta 3 Contour Goals Palette 
and this is the Sculpt It Your Way. Now, I am so impressed with this. First of all, you've got warm to cool contour and bronzing shades. I can't even explain to you how happy that makes me to have some cool shade options. Yes, and this formula is so creamy and blends so easily. Oh, I'm going in with this cool shade here and I'm just going to tap the product in. I'm not doing any sort of rubbing because I don't want to move the foundation underneath. I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. That shade is just perfect for contouring. Yes, yes, yes. And then I'm going to take this middle shade, which you can see is a bit more warm and use that as a bronzer. And with this shade, I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher and down further onto my cheeks, just to add a lot more warmth back into my skin, whereas the contour shade, I really only want it in the hollows, like the hollow of my cheek there. I'm also going to take a little bit of that up around my hairline. Oh my God, I have the most exciting news. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would already know, but I got invited to go to the Priceline Beauty Prescription event. <laughs> this is my first like beauty event. And it's a big one. It's a really big one and it is right up my alley. Like Priceline is my jam and I am just so pumped. It's in Sydney, so I'm gonna fly down, stay a few nights. Oh my God, it's like a big trade show. And if you've been in like the beauty community for a while, the Australian one anyway, I'm sure you would have seen content creators go in the past and it just looks like the most fun day. All the brands set up their own little booth and you get to go around and talk to them all. Oh, I am just so excited and feel so blessed that I was invited. Like me, they think I'm important enough to go. So yeah, I definitely want to vlog while I am away and show you guys all about it because I used to love watching vlogs of other people who went in the past. They haven't done it for a few years, or I think they did it like an online version maybe, um, because of, you know, the big C, but it's back on, baby. It's back on. The concealer has barely even settled into my fine lines. Like just a tiny bit there, which is pretty normal for me. Oh my God, this, I, I think this is gonna be real good, guys. It's gonna be good. Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to tap over the edges of the bronzer, make sure everything's looking nice and smooth. And now I'm going to go in with a powder. This is the BYS Full Coverage Pressed Powder in the shade Ivory. The full coverage range from BYS is really good. Like, it actually has full coverage. Like it says, the foundation is really long lasting. This powder is very smoothing and just keeps all your makeup in place. The shade range sucks, like there's only four shades. So I'm just going to take a small powder brush. This one is the Setting Brush by Real Techniques. And I'm just going to lightly set under the eyes, on my nose, just kind of like throughout my T-zone. Actually, I might set my entire forehead. I do get a little Botox in my forehead and I am ready for a touch up. So my foundation settles majorly into my lines and it drives me mad. So I'm just going to really set forehead to try and prevent that from happening. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil, and this is a loose powder. If you've been around my channel for a while, do you remember how obsessed I was with this? Like I would get my sponge, dip it in, and pack that shit all over my face. I've um, stepped away from doing that. <laughs> And instead, I like to use this a little bit differently. And I just take, oh shit, I just bloody put it everywhere. And I just take what is on the mirror here, kind of on the lid, on a nice big fluffy brush, and just dust it around my face very lightly. It just adds a beautiful, subtle glow. It makes the skin look super healthy, it kind of reminds me of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, but in a loose form. 
I used to go through this like crazy and I have so many backups and I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them because I just don't use it like I used to. <laughs> For blush, I'm going to be using the Emco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint, and this is in the shade Tango. Now, with these kind of products, I either like to put it onto the back of my hand or onto a palette, like this clear one I have here. Kind of spread it out with my finger. And then I take the bum of my sponge, tap it in, and then lightly tap that onto the cheeks. I just find this is a really good way to still use a cream product over powder. And this cheek and lip tint is absolutely beautiful. It's very lightweight and it still has a bit of a glow to it. Look at that. Oof. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just beautiful. Look at that. Okay, for eyebrows, I'm going in with the Astralis Incredi Brow Eyebrow Pomade. Now, this is a little underrated product, I tell ya. So, one side, you've got the pomade, and then the other side has a little angled brush. So you can just dip it in and do do do. Oh my god, last night, Clinton had the longest hair in his eyebrow. Like, I'm not kidding. He lifted it and it come to like here. I was like, let me cut that now before I tackle you to the ground. And so he very kindly let me trim it off. It was very satisfying. And then I was like showing him like, oh yeah, like I trimmed my eyebrows. And then he just started giving me shit about how little eyebrow I have. I was like, hey, yeah, that's enough. This pomade is very soft. So I even take a little bit out and again, just put it onto the back of my hand or on the back of a palette. It's a very cool tone, quite taupey. And so I'm going to draw a line underneath and then little strokes to fill in the sparse areas. Oh, I love this product. Just look how soft the brows look, but still so natural. Mmm, give it to me, Astralis. And I find that products that come with their own brush. Like the brush is usually really shit, but this is super thin and fine. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the OXX Studio Eyebrow Tint, and this is in the shade Blonde. Now this one is quite pigmented, so I'm going to just scrape some of the product off on the edges, and then just go in and brush up the brows. It just adds a little bit more color to any of those blonde hairs and sets everything in place exactly where I want it. All right, for eyeshadow, I have some options from Astralis. Now, Astralis, in my opinion, make the best eyeshadow palettes available at Priceline. I've got the classic Neutralize, the Glamour palette, Beach Days, Mesmerize. This shade has broken a little. I also have the Girl Boss, which I think was a limited edition one. They've got, I think, two or three other ones that I don't have, but oh my God, these shadows are pigmented. They are creamy and smooth, like they're, the texture is just stunning. They blend so easily, they are so beautiful. My number one eyeshadow palette recommendation from Priceline, you gotta get them. And then I also have these Shimmer Pigment Pots. Oh my God, this one here is my favorite, Nearly Naked, the most fine shimmer that just adds such a beautiful sparkle to your lid. Oh my God. I think I'll go in with the Glamour eyeshadow palette. This one has a lot of neutrals in it and then just like a random pop of purple. But I love that it's got a cool toned brown. You've got your warm tones, not focusing, you get the gist. By the way, I do have a video full face testing Astralis makeup. I'll link that down below if you want to go and watch it because I could rave about that brand all day long. All day long. They have so many great products. Okay, let me show you how I got this eye. So I'm going to take this shade here and put it all over the lid and then go in with a little bit of this shade and just put that in at the outer corner. Then I'm going to take this brown here 
and use that just to line the lash line. Also put a little bit on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take a brown eyeliner and put this in my waterline and my tight line. And then I'm going to go in with the Astralis Pigment Pot in Nearly Naked and just lightly tap that on the center of my eyelid. What I like about these is that you can just go in with a small amount to add a little bit of shimmer, or if you wet your brush, you can go in to get a really pigmented shimmer look. For mascara, I've got the Emco Beauty Extend Lash Mascara. This is one of the most popular products from the brand, I reckon. Get a load at that. Seriously, it adds a lot of volume and thickness to the lash, which I really love. For lip liner, I've got the Raw Cosmetics Coconut Kiss Lip Pencil in the shade Chicky Pea. This is just a really nice neutral nude. And then I'm going to take these liquid lipsticks from OXX Cosmetics, the Kmart brand. They don't have shades, but they were from that little nude pack. Now I'm going to start with this deeper shade and then lighten it up a bit with this nude. The nude is like way too light to wear on its own, but it's a good blending shade. These liquid lipsticks are actually very comfortable. They're like a moussey texture. They feel very creamy and they're opaque. And this is the nude shade. I'm just going to lightly tap that on. And then to finish off, I'm going in with a little bit of the Savvy Healthy Glow Mist. All right, well, this is the finished look using all Australian branded makeup. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And I would love to know what your favorite product is from an Australian makeup brand. So leave me a comment down below. If you're new here, you can take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I will have those linked down in the description box along with some more videos for you to go and binge. All right, well, I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.